Taiwan is seeing a huge influx of capital from Taiwanese companies based in China. Amid the ongoing trade war, dozens of companies have decided to shift their operations and bring their investments back home. This cash infusions could be to Taiwan's advantage, but Central Bank Governor uh, Yang Jinglong warns that the government must find a way to direct the money into sound sectors like 5G and Internet of Things. Speaking at a conference, Yang warned that returning Taiwanese capital could affect the central bank's monetary and foreign exchange policies. If Taiwanese capital returns at a large scale and is not put towards substantial investments, it could lower our interest rate levels. It could affect the effectiveness of our monetary policy. The governor called for legislation on the returning capital to stabilize interest and foreign exchange rates. Amid the U.S.-China trade war, Taiwanese businesses are withdrawing their capital from China. The government had expected returning investment of 500 billion NT over three years, but the sum has already exceeded 550 billion NT in less than a year. The government seeks to discourage property speculation and to encourage investments in 5G, Internet of Things and other tech infrastructure. It's clear that Taiwan's investment environment has improved and that there are high-quality sectors to invest in. Investors do not necessarily have to put the money in property. To discourage property speculation, returning capital invested in real estate will be subject to a tax rate of 20 percent. The Ministry of Finance says it will seek to direct the returning capital into Taiwan's advanced industries in order to boost GDP growth.